an out-of-control oil gusher off Western Australia last year. Offshore and onshore, there have been numerous so-called oil rig blowouts, just like this one in Louisiana, just not as big as the Deepwater Horizon. The blowout preventer should be um, able to close and prevent any escape from the wellbore, but obviously nothing is absolutely fail-safe as we've recently seen in the Gulf of Mexico. The safety of oil drilling depends upon the reliability of a blowout preventer. Rig workers use them to keep a well under control, especially when oil and gas surge or kick up from a well. The blowout preventer is basically a faucet on top of the oil well that prevents oil and gas from gushing up to the surface. When its valves don't do the trick, the blowout preventer also can choke the actual drilling pipe, just like I'm squeezing this straw. But when that doesn't do the trick, there's another line of defense. Blowout preventers have giant shears that are supposed to be able to cut the drilling pipe, just like I'm snipping this straw. Now, the problem is, deep underwater, the pressure is very intense, and these pipes have to be thick, especially the joints between them. And those joints, they are very hard to cut. A study done for the government's Minerals Management Service warned of such trouble in shearing drilling pipe deep underwater. Initial research painted a grim picture of the probability of success when utilizing this final tool in securing a well. UCAL Berkeley professor Robert B. is the former chief offshore engineer for Shell. That the blowout preventers had a probability of failing to crush that pipe that approaches 50 percent that it would be like getting on an airplane and having a 50 percent chance of making it to your destination. Professor B. warns blowout preventers are not reliable in the deep sea. You can keep on pushing equipment to the point of where it breaks, and I think we broke it. In fact, BP told congressional investigators there were leaks in the hydraulic system of the Deepwater Horizons blowout preventer, as well as a dead battery. Yet another safety concern. The dead man system, the final safety switch for a blowout preventer that's lost communication with its oil rig. It's supposed to trigger the blowout preventer to shut the well. But another study for the Minerals Management Service found many operator and contractor personnel refuse to arm the system from fear that it will either not operate when needed or activate inappropriately, causing downtime. The dead man switch did not activate during BP's April 20th blowout. That's another reason why industry experts concede oil drilling safety improvements are now critically needed. This is life and an event like this will happen again. We need to be better prepared next time. All these problems point to the possibility, however remote, of another tragic accident. Alan Chernoff, CNN, New York.